Hi guys, hope you're well. This is a quick run through of the new functionality that we've added to Merch Wizard to assist you when you're creating multiple products using this new uh, UI that Merch by Amazon have dropped. I'll start off by showing you what tools you get when you're creating new products and then uh, show you Relister and the functionality that you get when relisting products later on. As you might expect, when you come down here, we've added a few buttons down here. We'll come on to those shortly. But the functionality is the same as it is in the single product creation world. So if you go to your Merch Wizard and find a particular record, it will fill in the text boxes with the relevant data from the previous listings. So it's always a good place to start. Okay, so similar to when you're listing a new product individually, you can locate an existing record in Merch Wizard in the pop-up and it will populate the attributes with the previous listings attributes. So, so here's our attributes getting populated for our rugby designs. Next thing I would do is go down and either download the listing PNG or I will copy PNG URL to clipboard. And then we're just going to upload that. Right, here's our previous listing data. It's all in there ready to go. One of the problems we do have though is that there's plenty of references to things like t-shirt and the individual product that it was actually listed on last time. So to help with that, we've got a button to replace product keywords and it's just going to replace t-shirt with a generic term like designs and product, things like that. Uh, those are available to change and tweak in settings as you see fit. Okay, so the next thing I would do would be to copy the product text here, which is copying each of these uh, text boxes and then you can paste those into German. It will work the other way around as well, um, but in this case we were going to copy from English into German and then we can click the translate to German button and it will translate these over to German. From there we can go and look at the individual products and what we can do is we can hit the button again on each of these products and it will populate the colors, fit types and price with the appropriate details that were there from the last listing. So I'll just get rid of some of these so we can see what it's actually doing. Uh, just change that. Okay, so if I hit the button now, it will bring back what we had before. So all three fit types and this was the price that we had it listed at and these were the five colors. From there, I can click on any of the additional colors that I think the design will look good on. So I'll just click a few of these. And then one thing we can do now is we can copy the colors to use in other products after this. We also have a couple of utility buttons here, so you can select all the colors and then you can select no colors. I'm just going to paste back in what we had before. And I'm going to go and enable premium t-shirt. So we'll edit that. Paste in the colors, it's pasted in the same ones that we've selected for standard t-shirt and so on. You can go through and do that. Obviously, different products don't have all the colors that the standard t-shirts do, um, but you can paste in as many as you want in them. Obviously, not all the other product types support the same colors that standard t-shirts do, but you can always paste in your colors and then add any additional ones from there. Okay, so let's have a look at what it looks like when we're relisting products now. So the product types that support multi-product, we show the realist multi-product option, but if it's something like a pop socket, we won't show that. You just get the realist in single product, which just works as it did previously. So let's relist the Skelfy Halloween t-shirt. So what we'll see is the text has been populated from the previous listing. And then we've got a number of options as to what we want to do. So we've got the read lister functionality here. We can open the record in Airtable to check if we want. We're obviously going to want to upload the PNG again. So because I'm on a PC, I can use this copy PNG URL functionality. I'm just going to click on one of these, paste and hit enter. Uh, we'll be uploading it directly from the PNG in Airtable rather than downloading um, to local and re-uploading. But if you did if you're on a Mac or you just wanted to, you can just download your listing like that. Right, so our PNG is uploaded now. And the next thing that we're going to do is sort out the text here. So there are a number of buttons at the bottom now that we can use to help us out. So when relisting, it's likely that the product type, which is T-shirt in this case, is going to make its way into our listing text. And we've added some functionality here to replace the product keyword. So if I click that, it's going to replace that with uh, some generic terms that are configurable within your settings. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on this copy product text button. 
that's going to copy all these fields and I can then click on the German tab and paste them straight into there and from there we can click the translate to German button and get the text translated to German after that we'll go up and we'll click on each of these individual products and start configuring these uh, the relister functionality that we have here is all in this populate attributes button so you can click that or you can use alt r um, on a pc and option r on a mac and what it's going to do is fill in your colors and your fit types and your price for what you had on the previous product from there if i go up then i'll be able to configure the individual products and you'll see a number of buttons that we've got available on here the simple things such as select all colors and select none um, we can also copy and paste colors which i'll show you in a second but the realistic part of it is this populate attributes button so if i click that it's going to populate the colors fit type and price from the previous product uh, and then you can add on any other colors that you think will work well and then you can copy these colors uh, to clipboard effectively and then edit and populate attributes so you've got the previous ones you can paste your colors in there and the same with the other products so we're just going to paste these colors in there and the, all the colors aren't going to be there necessarily for each of the products so you can add on ones that you see fit but it gives you something good to start from etc etc so you're just going to go through the rest and finish those off and then you can go down and submit your product so the option screen has changed a little bit in the orbit kit options now you just have the orbit kit api key and we are reusing the same text replacement options in orbit kit and in the generic kind of find and replace of the product keywords that we saw earlier in the multi-product creator screen so what it'll do is it will delete any of the words that it finds in here and then it will it'll find any of these words in your text fields and replace them with these words it will cycle through so if you've got multiple ones in here every time it does a replace it's going to replace the first one with design second one with graphic third with print fourth with product back to design and so on and so forth you can add to these fields as you see fit so you can type in anything in here that you wish to find and replace with that as well Okay, so the final things to show you are just a few things that we've added uh, to support the new product types and the new product colors are available now. So firstly, we've changed the product type drop down here, this filter, um, we've grouped them into t-shirts with the new types that are on there as well. And you can now search by those, filter by those, and you can filter by everything that you used to be able to. And we just try to organize that a little better. The other thing that we've added is a check on this page to check that your active base has the new color options in the colors field. So if you go to a base that doesn't have that, when it refreshes the page and checks, it's going to pop up a little warning message to say, up at the top here to say you need to do a quick update. If we click on that update, it's going to talk you through how you go and add those colors in there. It's a simple copy and paste of that into one field, so it shouldn't take long for you to do. So it's worth doing that as it only takes a few seconds to copy and paste that in and then you won't get this nagging prompt anymore. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy the new functionality that we've got now to support the multi-product creator screens. And if you've got any feedback, feel free to drop it in the Facebook group. If you find any bugs or issues with it, then please create a ticket. Okay, cheers for now. Bye.